Hello guys, how are you doing? Now in this video, I'm going to um, get all the posts from Firebase, okay, and display in our uh, page, okay. So the first thing I want to do is head over to app.js, and what I want to do is instead of because we're going to render in the body section, right? So we have this div, we got this input field for creating these two fields. So right after the form, we can, let's create a break. Okay, not capital. Okay, so here we can render posts. Okay, so what you're going to do is, instead of writing everything here, I'm going to create a function and I'll just uh, refer to that function just like this one. This render post like that here, okay? So first let's uh, create that method. Okay, so let's do here. I okay, guess so I'm going to name it uh, render post. I okay, so render post. So I'm going to use, we're going to map through all these uh, data that we get from the Firebase. Okay, so for that reason, I want to use Lodas library and they have this uh, map uh, method, which is very handy. Okay, so let me import underscore from Lodas. Now this library, I'm not sure if I have, let me have a look in package.json, don't have. So let's uh, let's install this one, All right? Let's keep it running. Uh, in fact, I can stop it. So yarn add load as. Done, great. Now let's run it back. Beautiful. Now, okay, so we can use it now. So, in this render post, what I'm going to do is I will return underscore. So, using that and using this map method, okay, using this map method. We want to map map out the data so it's it how it works it takes the collection okay it takes the collection and then we want to do whatever we want to do we can get the key we can get the collection so that would be best um we will get the post right is post so it's just like a callback function and then we can use the arrow function and do all that stuff okay but before we do anything like that we need to get the data because we didn't have any data yet. What are we going to do with this, right? So let's comment this out. And let's think about the, how do we get. So, of course, we get from the 5S. Now, that functionality, we should uh, have it in the lifecycle method, okay? So when the component, React component mounts and gets ready, we want to load that data, okay? So we have to use that um, lifecycle method, which is called component did mount, okay? Life cycle method. Okay, so component did mount. You can check out more about life cycle methods in react.com, uh, react uh, react.js.org. Uh, okay, so most of the useful ones are like uh, component did mount, a will mount, and uh, component will receive props. Okay, there are a few of them, and depending on the scenario, you might switch between. Okay, so component did mount. When it's mounted, what I want to do is I want to go to the file, target this database, all right? So, is it? Yeah. so database, and then we get this method which is called on, okay? So this is the method we provided by Firebase. So anytime some changes happens in the database, we, we get to see using this method. So it's awesome method. And because it's a real-time database, this is perfect for us. So on, we call it value, okay? On value, and we get something, right? We get a callback, let's say snapshot. This is the one that you can name it anything you like, but this is the convention everyone uses this, so we, we should use this too. Now this value is, it's, it's just like saying like on click, you know, like if you're using jQuery, on click, do something, it's something like that. So this using the on method 
two arguments it takes first argument is a value in fact this is this is the one uh, we have to use value and then the second is the callback function so snapshot we use this arrow function and then what we do here is we say we want to set the state right once we get the value database on value anything changes or whatever doesn't change anything is there we get as a snapshot okay so this snapshot we can put in the state now in this state we have on the title and body which is uh, based on the user input now what we can do is we can create um, another uh, uh, another property okay so post post okay, post and let's make it empty object for the moment okay so it's empty object but as soon as we, the component mounts it will get the snapshot and that will fill out this object okay so this this set state okay now once you get the snapshot set the state and um what what part of state only the posts okay post and post will have the value of snapshot dot val okay this method we get so we get all the values of the snapshot all right awesome okay so we should have this available in our component uh, in our um, state once the component mounts So um, why don't we give it a try and have a look? Okay, so let's see if we have the notes of uh, this post from the 5s. So go to the React Dev Tools. I'm sure you have it. If not, just simply uh, you can Google search and add to the Google Chrome. Okay, so as you can see, we have the 5s uh, posts in the state and it's a collection. Awesome. Beautiful. So we got all these posts from the 5s. Now, now we can use this method that I was going to use previously get the collection and um, render each of them okay so let me let me start again okay so render post okay so what we're going to do is first we're going to return return using this um, load as library underscore map method okay so this method it takes the collection so the collection is this state post, okay? This state post, and then we can do whatever we want to do with it. So it's callback function. This one I'm going to use this arrow function. So we get each post, and then we get the key as well. So we need the unique key, okay? So using this function, what we can do is we can again return, and this time we're going to return a D because we've got. The entire collection we using the map method we get each each post with the key so we can return them in a div okay div uh, let's give it a key if you don't give it a key react will complain that it's i i is um child should have its own unique key okay so better do it right now okay so div key is the key in fact just a second in fact we have to wrap this everything in the parentheses okay in the return state because it is technically JSX even though it looks like HTML okay so return now here what I can do is inside this div I can uh, I can say h2 I can say paragraph now in h2 I can show the post title right and in here I can show post body great okay I think that's all we need we got this render post method now we, we are ready to use okay so this method simply returns the each each of the posts with title and body so we can use this let's go down here in our render method we are returning this form we have the form we have the line break and here i can use this method so within the curly braces okay this render post 
Okay, we, and we invoke the function here right here. Oh wow, as you can see, we have our post from the Firebase and we are successfully rendering to the screen. Amazing, right? <laughs> okay, so this is quite, quite a achievement, right? We were able to um, push to the database and the cloud, we were, we were able to retrieve from the database all using React and Firebase. We haven't touched anything about Redux yet. So I think it is time for us to move to Redux now, okay? So this is it. Now, all this is happening in this, uh, in this component, React component, uh, class component uh, app. But in the next video, we're going to start implementing Redux. So how the same exact same operation, like creating and retrieving, the same operation, how it, how it works in when we combine Redux to it. So it Redux, all this data will come from the Redux store, global store, and all these methods will be dispatched to the state and we will be getting from the state. And so all that stuff with the Redux. So we will do that from the very next video. All right. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.